Okay, so why drift and how did I become involved? Uh, well, it started about four years ago. Uh, I met uh, Tim Duffy, my, one of my business partners in New York, and he's a, he was a friend of my brother's. And uh, it was a, a bit of a chance meeting. And Tim was, was from WA. He'd uh, spent a lot of his childhood down in Margaret River, and I suppose we, we had a lot in common with that. Uh, I'd you know, lived down here for a little bit. Um, and spent most of my childhood down here surfing. So we were just going over old war stories about the area and surfing and the like. And he had a script, an early script of Drift, and he showed me that, and I loved it. I loved the concept. Uh, I loved the fact that it was centred around a region um, that hadn't really been showcased before. Uh, I loved the characters. Uh, for me to be able to be involved in a surfing film um, it was a bit of a dream, I suppose. I've always loved surfing as much as I've loved acting, so, so to combine them would have been a, a dream come true. So it was at that point that I decided, and Tim decided, let's give it a go, let's try and bring this thing together. I think I made a pretty clear decision early on in the piece with the director, Morgan O'Neill, with one of the directors, Morgan O'Neill, um, that once production started, I would put that producing hat to one side. I think it was a good decision to make uh, you know, in retrospect, on the last day of shooting, you know, reflecting, it's, I was in, I think, about 99% of the scenes, so I had no time to do anything but act. So for me, you know, working every day, first on set, last to leave, pretty much, 